friends, I am Varsha Sharma, working as assistant professor in Biani Group of Colleges. Today, I am presenting a lecture on the topic of indifference curve. What is indifference curve? Indifference curve represent or shows the combination of two goods which give the equal satisfaction to the consumer. Here we take the example of two goods is first one is food and second one is cloth and both of the have a various combination in this table combination A, combination B, combination C and the combination D. When the consumer consume one unit of food and 12 units of cloth gives the equal satisfaction when he use the combination B in, in this he use the quantity of two of food and the six quantity of cloth. It means A combination and B combination gives the equal satisfaction to the consumer. And again the C when the consumer use the three quantity of food and the four quantity of cloth again it gives the same uh, satisfaction to the consumer when he whenever you will use the combination of A or B. It means in concluding what we can say that all the combination A, B, C and D there is a worry in the number of quantity in the food and cloth but all the combinations is give the equal satisfaction to the consumer. This combination gives the equal satisfaction to the consumer. When this table we plot on the graph then we make the indifference curve. On the O axis here we take the quantity of food and O y axis we take the quantity of cloth. When the quantity of cloth is 12 the food quantity is 1. When the quantity of cloth is 6 then the food quantity is 2 and when the 4 3 and 3 and 4. It's when we add these points and prepare the curve that is known as a indifference curve. This curve shows the indifference curve in this diagram. And all the combination that is the combination of A, B, C and D all points give the equal satisfaction to the consumer. It is known as an indifference curve. Now indifference curve generally measures the utility. It measures the utility and it is developed by the Helen and Exxon. Helen and Exxon. Now what are the assumptions of the indifference curve? The assumptions of the indifference curves are there is no change in the price, there is no change in the taste of consumer preference and the two most other consumptions which is very essential for the indifference curve. First one is consistent choice of the consumer. If consumer prefer A over a B, so always he prefer a A over a B. He never can, he can never change his preference, he can never prefer B over a A. So, there is a consistency in the choice of the consumer. Now next result is it follows the law of diminishing marginal utility substitution. Major assumptions of the indifference curve is diminishing marginal rate of substitution. Before discussing it, it is very essential to know that what is the marginal rate, yeah, what is the marginal utility. Marginal utility is, is a one when the consumer derive the extra utility for consumption of one extra unit. It means in simple words we can say it is a utility that is derived for the consumption of one extra unit. Diminishing marginal utility means when the consumer consume more and more products his utility or a satisfaction is decreases. Here marginal rate of substitution. Marginal rate of substitution are those rate in which the consumer is ready or prepared to exchange the two goods. Goods may be food or clothing or any other goods whatever he want to become a combination in that scenario. Now there are various properties of the indifference curve. First property is indifference curve is always slope downwards. Slope downwards here we show when we prepare the indifference curve its slope is going to the downwards. Downwards means going to the rightwards from left to rightwards. Indifference curves always convex to the origin. It is always convex to the origin. Reason is that because it follows the law of diminishing marginal utility substitute. Law of diminishing marginal utility of substitution means when he consume the extra unit of food he give up the quantity of cloth that is the 6. When he want to additional unit of food 3 then he give up the 2. It means when he use the food quantity increase its utility is decreases. But when he, when he give up the quantity of cloth its utility is increases because here he reduce his consumption in the cloth so its utility is increases. But in the food he use more quantity of food so its utility is decreases. That is the marginal diminishing marginal rate of 
substitution and it affects the indifference curve that's why its curve always convex to the origin and the simple thing indifference curve give the higher satisfaction higher indifference curve higher satisfaction here we see there are lots of indifference curve when we when we show the combination of indifference curve on the one map that is known as a indifference map here we see there are a various combinations shown on the indifference curve and there are a various indifference curve that is ic1 ic2 ic3 and ic4 higher indifference curve give the higher satisfaction because here because here consumer consume more quantity and he and he ready to make a more combination of goods when he consume more quantity he gives he find out the greater satisfaction so we can say that in simple words that the higher indifference curve ic2 gives the more satisfaction comparative to ic1 ic3 ic3 gives the more satisfaction comparative to ic2 ic2 and ic4 gives the more satisfaction comparative to ic3 because of that reason indifference curve never intersect with each other because higher indifference curve give the higher satisfaction so no two inter, no two indifference curve intersect with each other for example here here we take the example for example here are the two indifference curve ic1 and ic2 here ic1 intersect the ic2 on the point of a and there are two more points in this curve first one is c and second one is b c gives a higher satisfaction to the consumer comparative to b point but if general terms we see here that a and c gives the equal satisfaction because all the points of the indifference curve the gives the equal satisfaction so a and c give the equal satisfaction and here in the second curve a and b give the equal satisfaction but a intersect those curve so a equals to c or a equals to b but it is not possible because according to the indifference curve higher curve gives the higher satisfaction it means c gives the more satisfaction to comparative to b so they are not intersect with the indifference curve never intersect with the each other because here ac is equals to bc it means ac is equals to a ab is equals to ac it means if intersect it means b or c equals and here it is not possible in the indifference curve because indifference curve says that higher indifference curve gives the higher satisfaction now the last assumption is indifference curve never intersect or sorry indifference curve never touches the axis indifference curve says indifference curve says that it is a combination of two goods if the one combination or if the one good touches the o axis or the o y axis it means its quantity is zero if quantity is zero it means there is no combination of two goods that's why there is also the assumption that or also the property is that that indifference curve never touches the axis if it touches it means the one quantity is zero if it here if it touches the o axis it means food quantity is zero if it is touches the o y axis it means cloth quantity is zero and if the one commodity quantity is zero it means it never make the combination of two goods thank you thank you thank you for the further details please visit www.gurukpo.com